MediShield was introduced in 1990 as a national low-cost insurance plan. It's part of a larger ecosystem, where government subsidies make up to 80% of healthcare financing. Individuals save for their own medical expenses in MediSave, and MediFund helps the needy. Cracks in MediShield became more apparent as the population got older. Those older than 92 or with pre-existing conditions fell through the cracks. And so began the work to forge a new healthcare coverage, MediShield Life. From the end of next year, the new scheme will include all Singaporeans. There will be no lifetime cap on claims, so you won't run out of insurance. Higher claim limits will cover a bigger chunk of bills and co-payments will be reduced, so you'll pay less. But what would you have to pay for this greater peace of mind? When MediShield Life kicks in next year, premiums will rise by less than $3 a month for lower to middle-income Singaporeans. Even after transitional subsidies end in 2019, two in three people will enjoy permanent government subsidies. The lower income will pay $3 to $11 more compared to now, and the middle income $5 to $14 more. And the good news, for most people, the premiums can still be fully paid out of their Medisave after the 1% point increase in employers' contributions. Those over 80 in the pioneer generation won't have to pay anything at all. And the government will ensure that those who can't afford the premiums do not fall through the cracks.